Man, you my dog got the big gallon with it. <laughs> so you, so you, that's good now. My dog drank heavy yeah, water now. Yeah, yeah. How, like, how, how long you been drinking like that? Yeah, since college. Mm. How come? How come you stuck with that? What was so important about it? You feel like drinking? Yeah, like you gotta, you gotta stay hydrated. Like the shit I do too. When I go to the studio, you get dehydrated quick. Like the next day, you wake up weak. You gotta. If you ain't drinking water, you done. Like what you do? Shit. You know what niggas like to do when they in the studio stay up. I be running like twelve hour sessions, so mm -hmm. twelve hours straight. I'm trying to trying to knock out two songs every hour at least, like two songs, two verses, sixteen, sixteen, eight, eight on the hook. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to keep it going because you know the stew ain't free. Yeah, it's like man, I used you know, to you be going. Like in your own studio, make yeah. been in the studio. Yeah, but it's like my mom be gone. Mm -hmm. My mom be here some days, and I wake up the next day like man. I don't know. My mind just be everywhere though. I be my mind be on point, but my mind be gone sometimes. Like I could be smart sometimes, but sometimes I'll be fried. But it's like, like, when, like I be it's more balanced. He say them jiggers be having off the chain too sometimes. And jiggers. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, I ain't mm -hmm. gonna lie. But let's talk about that. What about that one freestyle you did on them jiggers though, man? That bit that was kill on it. It was on IG. Oh, niggas on. Uh -huh. Doing one recently. I don't know if it's recently, but it was, I'm talking about you was. You was on them jiggers though, and you was just off the chain on that freestyle. Uh, you talking about, yeah, oh. yeah. Damn, you ate that bitch. These niggas on the ground. I'm talking about, oh, damn it. Bro. Oh, shit. I know what you're talking about. Oh, oh you yeah, done like that, that shit 20 times? God, that day I ain't going to lie. That was probably the most. Them niggas ain't front door. Right that door. door. Wherever I gotta go, oh. it's the window. Yeah, if it's real smoke, oh, oh, oh. 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 how you came on that bit like that, though, dog? I was so like, it was a lot what going was on. What you time. think you was on at that time, dog? Four. I probably threw back four. Because I'm the type of person, oh. it's like, I don't got patience with anything. If it's in the stool, making money, or if it's with people, I don't really. I don't got patience if unless it's about me. Mm -hmm. So it's like when I when I go do my uh, pills or whatever, I want it to kick in right now. I don't want to wait five minutes. So if I gotta take three for um, for me to feel it right now, I want to take three. Dang. And I ain't never really had no problem because I probably I made, your size probably. Yeah, it might be the size, and I make sure I'm hydrated too. Well, yeah, you keep that big water. On yeah, you. like everybody can't do that though. Like even my dogs that's been doing it, they like, bro, you straight like. It's like I done passed my limit so many times. I just know, like, I know I could take it. I know I could take it. It's like you can't really do these drugs just to have fun, man. Like, because I used to do it to have fun. That's when the nigga used to have the most problems. I do my shit. I go to the stool. Go sit in the stool, bro. Don't even leave the stool till you come down, till you feel like you straight. Because <laughs> sometimes you could get too far up. I remember one time I got too far up. It's like... I almost got gone, like my own boy, like boy. If you ain't shake back, you was a gone. I guess they laced me. No. Was, yeah, they laced me bad. They laced me bad. That shit almost took a toll on me. It's like I, I think I took too much. I think it was some like I took like a gram or some shit or some shit. Took a gram because I was just stressing, stressing about a girl or some shit. Then y'all broke up or something? No, it was just. I'm making up scenarios in my head, and yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. down there believing them. Yeah, okay, like, okay. Man, I'm, mm -hmm. I ain't worried. I'm throwing back every mm -hmm. time. I'm just throwing back. Bitch, I woke up the next day. I woke up the next day at my mama's house, and I ain't even know I was at my mama's house. My mama just came in the room talking to me, and she talking, and in my head, I'm like, who is this talking to me like that? Like, I don't even know who she is. I'm like, she's just like, you don't know who you're talking to? Like, she asking me, and I'm just like, Bro, I don't even know who you is right now. I'm not telling her that, but I'm just like, bro, I don't even know who I am. I ain't even know my purpose. I'm like, damn, what damn. the fuck? I'm like, I can't shake back. I'm like, I don't know nothing. People calling my phone. I don't even know who it is. And then it's just like, I'm so far gone. I damn near committed suicide because I couldn't figure it out. It was just that one day. Thank I just, God, I just stayed in bed. I was like, man, I don't know nothing was going on. Then my dog had done told me, he was like, yeah, bro, that shit, that shit you want was on yesterday. I don't think it was the real deal. What would that be? Then I went to go take, like, a, it was around the time I was on papers. I violated off the papers because I had to take a piss test. Uh -huh. And then she told me, it was like, I think she told me it was a bath salt or some shit. 
Oh. Some bath salt that they put in my shit and all like damn like some weird shit. She's like, you take bath salts? Like you know that shit that had them people running around you, South Beach naked, yeah. but I don't you know me, I got a strong mind. I ain't running around naked nowhere. Mm -hmm. I just stayed in the hood, but it like made me so paranoid. I was probably fucked up for like two weeks, three weeks or some shit like that. But I shit back. Well like damn. I just gotta stay away from that drug right there. That joy had me freestyling good. Bro. Oh man, can we rip it one more time? Yeah, man. How'd that be? How did that be? Good. I would have said. The bar. Yeah, how you say that be? Nigga, nigga, nigga come on. Yeah. Got a nigga hurting. That was it. Got me thinking suicide. I ain't never ever think about suicide. That shit was crazy. My dog just come with some new, man. Got a nigga hurting on the inside. I ain't never felt this shit. My dog cried. On the phone, I heard my dog cry. Like, what happened? Niggas dying left and right. That what happened? It was like, you know, when the COVID first hit, mm -hmm. his mom and grandma died the same day. Damn. Like, she was the first responder. She, it was on the news. Like, Miss Thompson, his mom Damn. and his grandma died the same day. Then he called me, and then he told me that shit kind of got me hurting right now. Just thinking about it, and he was like, "Bro, my mom and grandma just passed at the same time in the hospital." Right. I'm like, God, I'm like, fuck. And then I think I just popped a pill. I'm like, Phew. I'm with my dog, Miz. I'm like, bro, I got to take two more, so I don't even think too much about what happened. Then he called me to come to his house. That shit made it worse. I was like, bro, just record me so I could freestyle some, so I could just... I could just make this shit feel better in my head, bitch. I just went to freestyling. I probably was freestyling for three hours straight. We in the same spot. Fried shit, like it's fried shit, but it's like to me that shit was good shit. Mm -hmm. This day in the car with me, just recording me, probably like three, four hours. I'm just steady freestyling, freestyling, cause it's like I don't know that shit just keep me going. Mm -hmm. That's why I like I be telling people like it ain't really right to overdose, bro. Unless you really know how you could take it. I kind of learned how to take it, so I could overdose. You wouldn't even know I could be on four, five, six right now, and I'm just. No, but what the people that say, Pat, dog, chill, slow down. <laughs> yeah, they tell me slow down. It's like, they don't know why I'm on it, though. It's like, I hear you telling me slow down, but you don't know what the f what be going on in my head, like what's going on. Like, this like my little gateway. This how I get, uh, this how I get right. I mean, I mean, I mean, shit, shit, I don't know. I mean, that's just how I get right, bro. I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. I mean, I'll take the advice. Sometimes I don't know how to take my own advice, but I just be going through my own shit. But eventually, I get right. I listen to my mama though. Like my grand, my grandparents, they passed. They used to. I don't know how they found out that I was on this type of stuff. I guess my mama told them or something. But I remember when I went, when I went to Haiti. What's gonna talk about that? Tell us about the Haiti trip, dog. Shit, when I, I just went to Haiti. They said you stay in Haiti. Yeah, I, I be going a lot. I want to say, so you stay going. I used to spend summers, whole summers, me and my brother, two, three months, we stay in the Haiti. So, but when I went to Haiti, my granddad was sick or whatever. And I knew around the time, my granddad was sick. So I was like, damn, I got to go. Because when I, when I came home from college, I was so money hungry. My grandma used to uh, tell my mom, like, damn, tell Pat, uh, tell Pat and his brother, come to Haiti, come see me before I die, da, da, da. Damn. In my head, I'm like, man, I'm, I love my grandma, though, mm -hmm. but I wanted money so bad, yeah, yeah. the shit that I was doing, I'm like, I'm going to see her. She ended up dying. She died for real, and I was just like, whoa. Like, my, mom was like, my mom used to be like, see, you don't care. You only care about money. You you ain't even going to see your grandma before she passed. So that shit kind of like hurt me so bad. That shit had me on the edge. I used to... That's that's what really triggered me to start doing a lot of drugs, cause it's like, damn, bro, I really let the money get between the love, and she died for real. And my granddad started saying the same thing. So as soon as I heard he was sick, I went to hit him. He's sick. He in a coma or some shit. I don't know what was going on. His blood sugar spiked up or whatever. And the hospitals over there ain't that good. They down there kill you in the hospital. But when I got to Haiti, I went straight to the hospital to go see him. He unresponsive. I just whispered in his ear, you know, let him know I'm here. They said he could hear, but he can't respond. 
blood his blood pressure was like 60. As soon as I started talking to him, his blood pressure spiked like 85, 90. Everybody looking crazy in the room. That boy down there starting to regurgitate out of his mouth. Like, yeah, he trying to talk. He, he opening in his eyes. They're like, what you did to this man? I'm like, man, I just, I ain't say nothing. I just told him I'm here. I'm, but this is, this Pat. Man, I came to Haiti. I'm trying to see what's going on. And they ain't let me in the room. They just told me to get out. Like, I did something, man. But the next day, they said he was up. Then he came back home the next day off the coma. Damn. Well, but then I came back here because I thought he was good. As soon as I got back here, sick again. My mom went. Same day my mom went, he died. I'm like, whoa, shit. I was like, damn. I went to feeling like, bro, did I leave too early? I don't know what I did. I was just like, damn. Maybe I ain't spend enough time. And then I down there went to blame myself. Like, I was down there putting myself in a sight ward. Like, bitch, I was down there went to doing a lot of drugs, losing so much weight. It was like, I'm blaming myself the whole time. I'm like, damn, I ain't spend enough time with these people. These people just passing on my grandparents. Passing, they dropping like flies. Then my mom trying to tell me it ain't my fault. Then I went back. I went back by myself. She came back. She couldn't take it. Just I'm, I'm trying to put all the funerals and stuff together. I'm like, man, I ain't never do this before, bad. I'm like, but I'm doing it. I'm like, I ain't never do this before. Everybody looking at me like I'm some type of genie. I'm, I'm just like, man, I don't even know what's going on. I just like, I felt bad. Like, damn. Like that shit had me. It still kind of got me. Like, damn. Maybe I ain't do it right. Maybe I wasn't visiting visiting them people enough. It's like, but I just know before he passed, though he he had a long talk with me too. He was just like, man, he used to motivate me with that music stuff when he found out I was doing music. He was like, I used to be like, damn, I don't really get no support like that. And then he used to be like, shit, ain't nothing wrong with that. That should make you go hard. You don't really get that much support. Shit, he was like, I'm no. He was like, I'm the only support you need anyway. At the end of the day, cause like they real religious. Mm-hmm. Like where they at in Haiti, they only got electricity probably like 30 minutes out of the day, like from seven to seven forty-five, seven to seven thirty. So they just they live in prayer. They just they so in the hills. In there, you was in there seeing that dark with no lights and stuff. Oh yeah, I'm used to it. I, I always used to go to Haiti, no electricity. She got a generator, but. Come on, man. People dying. You think I'm trying to spend money on generator, oil, gas? I could just sit in a... I could meditate with them. Facts. Yeah, I could just chill, meditate, clear my mind, because I was going through too much stuff. And when you was down there, was, there, was there, you, were you getting your, you know, your stuff that you get in your vibe? Oh, uh, no. So mm-hmm. how, how it felt being down there sober, though? It was straight. They were... I'm talking about you, though. Not they. I'm talking about you. How you felt? <laughs> Shit, I was all kind of sick. You know, you get sick yeah, when you're on them drugs. Yeah. But I had, I had to tell them what was going on, what type of drugs I was doing. They just making tea. You know, they got tea growing in the backyard. Well, you, know, you know, them island folks got them natural stuff, though. So that shit probably was helping you out, though. Yeah, it was helping me a lot, though. It was helping me a lot. I was sick probably for like two, three weeks. I was oh, sick. Oh, man, you were sick, sick. Sick, dope sick. You know how them junkies be on the street? Mm. Sick, yeah. Dope sick. Hey, were you... T- when you trying to get off them things, it do something to your brain, too. It could damage your brain, bro, because it's like your brain is like a computer. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. You steady putting all this shit in your computer. It's going to have some long-lasting effects or whatever. But it sound like you even know. It sound like you know about what you do. Yeah, it's like I know. I know, though. It's just, I can't. No, I not, no, it, 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 you ain't got to stop. Just slow the load. Because it sound like you You say you, you, you didn't overdose. You feel that, man? It's, it's like if I want, if I take a look, look, this is how it is, bro. It was my, even my homeboy said, it's like, damn, Pat, one ain't never enough for you. It's like you chasing the climax. You trying to get to the top of the, top of the feeling. And I'm trying to feel full of fat. I ain't trying to feel a little bit because it's like, it had me feeling and it had me feeling like, bro, you a lick, bro. Like, what's wrong with you? Why you always need more? So I'm on some shit like, if I'm finna take some, I'm finna take some so I could be high the whole day. I don't got to keep going. Even though that ain't the right way. Mm-hmm. All right. I don't know. Shit. <laughs> I don't know. I swear, I don't know. I be telling my mom. My mom just be telling me, you just need to, uh, I don't know. 
I be losing all these vitamins and shit. I be having my mom. My mom be having to shoot me up with B21. Mm-hmm. And when you on them pills, bro, especially perks, I used to be fucked up on perks in like 12th grade. 12th grade? Yeah, me and my homeboy were fucked up on perks. But you know they was getting pressed. That's like when the first press, when the per, the press perks came in 2016 and 2015. 2016. What that mean, press perks? What that mean? Fake perks. They no. was, uh, man, what? Oh, man. I got fucked up. Me and my homeboy got fucked up. We're all fake perks. Both of y'all, what happened? They was, uh, they was pressing them with fat now. No. They were pressing them with fat. We ain't know, though. No, that's why I hear niggas rap about. I hear that when rap song. Yeah, they rapping about it now, but yeah. it was been going on. They nobody don't really know. Like you gotta really know about perks to know them shits was getting pressed. It's like you waking up cold sweats, you see your whole bed puddle, feel your body getting cold. You so cold, but it's hot. Why you cold? Press perk. Things press. And we ain't even know around the time. We just we just popping them. We like I'm so trying to feel the vibe. So y'all pop them, y'all feel good. The next day you feeling terrible. No, nah, you like you pop them. Like you will pop one right now. An hour later, you feel yourself coming down. Mm-hmm. Cause we used to do a lot of perks. Mm-hmm. We used to do a lot of perks, man. That's when we switched over to the uh, to the uppers. Cause you know perks like a downer. How you smooth, calm, collect, and then when you smoke, it's like you take off out of space. You float in life. You floating, but you feel yourself after an hour. You like, well, I think I need some more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you need some more after an hour, boy, that's a fake perk, boy. <laughs> so one perk, like, like, so real good perk, you, you could be good for like what, two, three hours? Two, three hours, mm-hmm. depending on your tolerance. But you was a tu tu tu, a tu tu tu. You feel me? So probably your tolerance. My tolerance was fucked up, and you know, perks it fuck up your appetite. Now you getting skinny. You don't want to eat. You don't want to eat. You drinking smoothies, that shit is not enough. My mom, my mom was the first one to call it out. She just like snapping one day. She like, bro, you want pills? And I was just like, well, I done got defensive. I'm like, pills? Even though in the back of my mind, I'm, like, I'm on them things for mm-hmm. real. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm like, who telling you that type of stuff? Man, they ain't gotta do no <laughs> pills. I probably smoked some weed. We was on them pills for real. I'm slimming down like crazy. But no, the shit I do now I ain't got the problem with the perks. That's why all my homeboys that do perks, I be trying to tell them, bro. Gotta get off them perks, fam. Them shit's how you stuck. I was stuck for years. Probably two, three. Mm-hmm. But I was able to shake that thing. It's hard to shake, bro. It's hard to shake. How you end up shaking the perks? Uh, Money. Money started getting low. Oh. I'm grinding. But it's like I'm not adding up nothing. It's cause we used to damn near mix the perks with the uh really? you know that Xanax shit, mm-hmm. nigga. But I don't know what the fuck was on. You put like half a perk, half a Xan or a quarter of Xan. Yeah. Throw back throw back. That shit how you feeling so good. Uh. But you blowing that money, man. Every time you go to the store you I need this, I need that, I need, you feel me, like, you know. What not, do you need at the store? What you need? <laughs> you need shit like this. Wait, oh, so it give you the munchies? Yeah, yeah. Sweets? You, want, you get a sugar rush, you want straight sugar, and you're not even finishing it. You get about two, three packs of candy. You don't even want that thing after, like, the first amount you take, like, you feeling, bro, like, you acting like a lick. If you if you pay attention to how a lick act on the street, mm-hmm. you just acting like a more better lick because, you know, you got some money, but mm-hmm. you a lick. Though. Mm-hmm. I was a lick. I know I was a lick. We were fried. We were fried. That's why I'll be like, every time I see my dogs on perks, though, I just try to tell them, try to give them some motivational shit, though. Try to tell them about them perks. Well, when it's time to let them things go, you're going to have withdrawals. You know what withdrawals mm-hmm. is. That's with any drug though, but perks more stronger. You think you, got, you think we have with drug? I smoke weed. Yeah, I only smoke heavy weed. They got some. Okay, no. I ain't smoking about sixty days though, mm-hmm. like fifty five days. But what what is it about when niggas get on the like the um perks? The Zanny they don't want to smoke weed no more. Hmm. All my dogs that be on you know they don't want to smoke weed no more. They be on perks, Zannies and stuff. Is it Wait, like you perks? say they be on perks, Zannies, and they don't want to smoke weed? Like my dog, let's say they used to smoke weed, right? Man, yeah. I don't smoke weed no more, though. It's like they don't want to smoke weed no more. They say that we make them paranoid now. When, cause I don't think they could do that. No. That's what they said when they on the person. The, they I older, though? Uh, no, what you know? They older? Yeah, they older. So I don't know if it's good. Oh, because, like, 
that shit like if you bro that shit like you know how everybody wanna smoke the exotic right now? Yeah. Man, that shit like I be talking to the growers. Oh, everybody on that person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I be talking to the growers like that exotic shit really sprayed shit. It sprayed chemicals on the weed. Like you're not smoking natural, natural. weed. No, it's natural really gonna have you paranoid. Weed. Like mm-hmm. that why I don't I can't smoke too much exotic. Like I got my homeboys, all these smokers exotic, za 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 and I'm like, fam <laughs> I'd rather pop me a little pill and just vibe. All that Zaza be having me coming down fast too. Mm-hmm. Like it make you like come down. Now you paranoid. Yeah, Zaza. I don't know. I just like that little indoor weed, but exotic weed. That shit too strong. That rapper weed. Mm-hmm. Strong man. I don't know. I salute you if you could smoke that Zaza all day. I know I can't though. No, it's not good to smoke nothing all day because now you start getting used to it and you just want more and more. Yeah, and I was been smoking in sixth grade, so I knew how the weed was. Mm-hmm. The weed shifted. Mm-hmm. The weed really shifted. Like, but we used to be walking to school smoking a swish of sweets, and the weed lasts the whole day. The high lasts the high lasts the whole day. The, yeah. the high lasts the whole day. Now when you go smoke weed, the high gonna last like an hour, or two, or three. But that's cause you know we smoking too much. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I took it like a year off one time. I was high on two puffs. But now I gotta smoke back to back to back. Back to back to back. Yeah, what kind of rap you smoke out of? I smoke. I see. I smoke gravel. I oh smoke. yeah, that gravel I boy. I actually did it too. <laughs> they got that nicotine. I heard. Gun no, play, I was addicted to gravel too. That. Yeah, I was addicted to gravel. Gravel is like it give you a, a head high. Mm-hmm. That why you think it's like. I started. I start smoking gravel at the beginning of this year. I started smoking straight papers and all that. Damn, mm-hmm. the papers high straight. It it gets you real high. But the grabber will give you a different high. It grab your head as soon as you in hell. Mm-hmm. It's that feeling you chasing. I realize it, it ain't really the, the weed. It ain't the weed you chasing. It's the tobacco. You chasing the tobacco high. And then mm-hmm. one of my dogs told me that I kind of got mad because he was like, what? Bro, you, you chasing the tobacco high, bro. You think you getting high off weed? And I'm like, what you trying to say, bro? Like, <laughs> you try- I'm like, what, what you trying to say, bro? Like, mm-hmm. this. Until I really had to sit back and it Realize what he's saying. Like, you don't like getting high off weed, bro. You like getting high off gravel. You might well just smoke gravel. Mm-hmm. No, like, damn. If you smoke gravel by itself, you gonna get the same high. <laughs> damn. <laughs> I swear to God, like, no. <laughs> he proved me wrong, though. I was like, yeah, that's why you gotta listen. Mm-hmm. You don't always gotta take in everything somebody tell you, though, but you could listen, cause you don't never know what you could learn. And I don't really like to listen to people, though. I like. I well, like to feel like, like I know it all. Huh? Yeah, I don't like to listen. Uh, I guess, like, the way I grew up, it was a whole lot of criticism. So it was like, I took some of that criticism, man. But that shit kind of, like, harbored me, too. It kind of, like, it stuck with me. Like, certain shit somebody say could just trigger me, like, quit. Like, I hear some, I hear something somebody say, and that shit would just have me so mad. Like, it had me thinking, like, when I was younger, when somebody said that, <laughs> I'll be like, damn, but this nigga really like playing with me. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's like shit, but but I got I got a therapist though. You got therapy? Yeah, I go to therapy. You feel like you need it? I ain't think I needed it though. <laughs> who, who recommended a therapist for you? <laughs> My mama. Oh. Yeah, I ain't think I needed it. I ain't gonna lie, it was a couple girls that told me that like I like I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, there was a couple of girls that told me that. I guess they, like, pay attention to me or them. They were like, boy, they were like, I fuck with you, but you, you kind of, like, you need a therapist. Let me know how you use with the females. How you use with the females? What you mean, huh? Two trust, two, like, with you. Oh, right now? I'm really a lover boy, though. Mm-hmm. But, like, if I ain't in a relationship, I, I ain't going to lie, boy. I don't play. Because, mm-hmm. like, uh, when I was younger, a lot of girls used to try to play. They played, like, mm-hmm. for me, they played around, but, you know, that's how life is, though. Somebody got to play with you. Mm-hmm. So now it's like, I'm going to do the plan, and back then, I was going through it. I ain't about to be going through nothing right now. What the hell are you going through back then? You be just trying to look for love and shit, like, trying to make sure these girls satisfied. Until mm-hmm. I realized, you can't make a girl satisfied. I ain't never really had them talks with my mom. Mm-hmm. When I talk to my mom, my mom just be laughing like, you really think you can make these girls happy? These girls your age, you really think you can make them happy? And I used to be like, damn. No girl got to sound like she had games, though. She knows. <laughs> my mom knows. It's like, yeah, 
my mom be annoying. She's like, man, if you trying to make these girls happy, you're going to kill yourself, man. You better worry about you. You better put yourself first. You better make sure you elevating. Because it ain't too many girls that's going to be... Like, I ain't going to lie, it's girls that's going to elevate with you, too. It's girls that's going to be past you. Mm-hmm. But it's girls that's just going to be in the same spot the whole time you chasing her. You run that laps. You run that laps with the girl trying to please her. Well, you end up in the same hole she in. But she did worry about niggas. She did, she ain't really trying to make it to that next level. Dang. Your ass down there going to be stuck with her. So when she was telling me all that, it took a while, bro. I'm like, what I am right now? 20, 20 something, 20, 20. I damn it forgot my age, but I'm young, 20s. 20s, man. 20? <laughs> yeah, 20, 20, 22. Okay, thank God. 22, you remember that? Yeah. Uh, shit. <laughs> I be forgetting my birthday sometime, but my birthday coming up. It's on the 29th. Mm-hmm. Shit, but I had to realize right now, I, f- I give girls respect. Like, I just, I play them how they want to, like, how they want to play with me. Like, if you want to help me, I'm going to help you. If you don't want to help me, shit, I'm going to just, we could just go our separate ways because I know me, I am I like to I like to play mind games. I like to see what a girl really trying to do. And right now, at this time right now, these girls really be trying to play around. Like, nigga just like dumb, like, they be on some opportunist shit. Like, damn, I was trying to talk to you back then. You wasn't even trying to let a nigga, but now you like, oh, when you going to have time for me? I was like, no, I ain't going to lie. Nigga, the train already done left the train station. You gotta wait till I double back. No, that was <laughs> oh, yeah. time. I'm fucking with him now. Like, I'm playing mind games just to see like how much could she take. If a girl really wants you, though, she gonna stick around, though. Mm-hmm. She's gonna stick around. If she go to flexing on you, talking crazy, you just saved yourself a lesson, bro. Because there's a lot of niggas going down off these girls, domestic. That's the highest crime right now in, in Florida, domestic. Niggas whooping their girl. They putting their hands on their girl because she got them, she got them in the brain. So she doing everything that's gonna make you crash up. No, don't do that. We can't be hitting them females. No, nah. gotta be focused on that bag. I ain't never put my hand on the female. Facts. Never, never put my hand on the female. I ain't even trying to. <coughs> that's the best way. To. I did like the talk. I probably say something and she gonna feel like I touched her with what I just said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For real. Yeah, I don't really get too serious. I just be laughing with the most of the time. I don't ever get too deep in my emotions anyway. And not trapping though. 